Helping drive these wintry systems, El Nino, the phenomenon, has been dominating U.S. and South American weather for the last few months. But there are some signs that the weather pattern may be changing. Michelle Rook is at the Water Street Solutions Edge Conference in Tucson, Arizona. And Michelle, weather experts are looking at what this means for farmers in 2024. Clinton El Nino has lasted longer than expected, and that has been a warmer, drier winter in much of the Corn Belt. But it looks like that pattern is starting to break down, and that's good news for grain producers, but potentially bad news for cattle operations, especially in those cattle feeding areas. Now I'm going to show you what the models say. Because it's currently El Nino is finally showing signs of weakening for the first time in four years. Weather expert Eric Snodgrass says it's plateaued and may stay that way for the rest of the winter. We think that by March we're going to start to see it collapse and go quickly back to neutral conditions, which means maybe by spring and summer we could be talking about no strong signal from the central equatorial Pacific. Kirk Hins with Bayham Weather says that means no major break in the drought areas of the Corn Belt until spring. It is also common with El Nino's to get dry in the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley. It, it's already been ongoing too as well. So I would say if this El Nino lasts a little bit longer, um, that would be a risk. Snodgrass has looked at El Nino winters going back to 1960 to determine what that means for the U.S. planting season. We actually tended to have a little bit tighter planting windows uh, in spring. Tended to be cooler early, but then get warm by the time we got into May. Hinn says until El Nino fully fades, the jet stream will also stay farther to the south, bringing moisture to the central and southern plains. That's good news for the winter wheat and cotton areas, but bad news for cattle feeding areas. It's the next five systems that are going to be going across the country that I think will start to eat away at the drought that's tucked away in the Mid-South, that's tucked away in parts of the Corn Belt, and it's going to certainly pack up some snow in the Northwest. And both agree that even with spring precip, it will take time to recharge subsoil moisture. So some areas will see lingering drought and be dependent on just-in-time rains like in 2023. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.